So if you want super high yielding ETFs in your portfolio, but you're just a beginner, I'm going to help you guys see a few ETFs that'll help you achieve the high yielding monthly dividends coming into your account, which you can reinvest those dividends and create a massive snowball account. Of course, nothing in this video is financial advice, but I'm gonna show you three new ETFs that have really been performing well and has paid out consistent monthly dividends that have yielded really high amounts. So the first one we're gonna look at is SPYI and this is by NEOS and this one is the S&P 500 high income ETF SPYI. It aims to offer high monthly income in a tax efficient manner with potential for upside capture in rising markets which we like to see. It seeks high monthly income tax efficient and upside potential in rising markets. So if we want to compare this ETF SPYI to some of the other high yielding ETFs that I'm not going to mention in this video in my portfolio but we're going to take a look at SPYI and their total return. So SPYI's total return has been 19.88% compared to XYLD's 12.24%. JEPI, which is the JP Morgan Equity Premium and Income ETF, which a lot of people like, is up 16.83% total return, as well as Devo is up 15.90%. So SPYI has beat all the other high income ETFs so far this year. And then SPY, which is the S&P 500, that doesn't have a high dividend, maybe about a 1% dividend yield is up 29.45%. But if we're going for income, we're not going to trade your income for the upside potential of growth. And with SPYI, it looks like you kind of get the best of both worlds. And their distribution rate for SPYI is 12.14%. This one is a great holding for the S&P 500. Then we want to also have exposure to the NASDAQ 100, which is a little more volatile, but can offer higher yields. So this is why I chose NEOS QQQI, which is their brand new fund. But as you can see, the distribution yield is 14 and this is distributed on a monthly basis. You can see expense ratio because that is important is 0.68%. And if you have $10,000 invested, that would be about $68 per year in fees. But QQQI strategy is basically the same as SPYI. It just does the same strategy, but on the NASDAQ 100. And you can see net assets is 18 million so far with 370,000 shares outstanding. And we can go into the distribution so far and take a look where we saw the distribution yield of 14.42% so far and their first distribution was 59 cents and that was paid out on February 23rd and you'll get the next dividend payment if you invest in this ETF on the 22nd of March. Another position I want to put into this portfolio is FEPI which is the Rex Fang and Innovation Equity Premium Income ETF and this one is technology based and has the highest yield out of the three. First we start with the SPYI which is a broadly diversified ETF for the S&P 500. Then we also have QQQI, which is the NASDAQ 100, which is also very diversified and offers a very high yield for that sort of fund. Now we have FEPI, which is an equity premium income ETF with a 25% dividend yield and has some highly volatile holdings under it, but you also get a nice yield coming from this ETF. So this ETF came out on the 11th of October in 2023. They own the underlying companies they write covered calls and give you high income potential. This one has $120 million in assets under management and the expense ratio is about the same as the other two at 0.65% because they are actively managed funds. So you're going to have to pay a little bit higher of an expense ratio. This one, FEPI, pays out over a dollar per share each and every month. So their first one was $1.15 and their most recent one was $1.19. So you can see pretty consistent dividends from FEPI so far. And if we take a look at their holding, you could see highly volatile stocks, but also well-known names where they sell their covered calls on, and they have the top 15 tech stocks equally weighted in this portfolio. So let's take a look at some of the performances of these ETFs to see if they're good investments and if they've been going up in this bull market that we've seen throughout 2023 and into 2024. So price return alone, SPYI in the past year is up 4.88%, but these are dividend ETFs, so we have to take a look at total total return because that is important when including the dividends. So in the past year, total return SP 
SPYI is up 18.32%, and over the max time, it is up 23.03%, which is great performance from an income ETF. If you bought on inception date, you would not have lost any money so far investing in SPYI. And these are new funds, so you do have to be careful. I wouldn't put every single dollar that you earn into these ETFs. Of course, when there's risk, there's also reward. We're going to take a look at QQQI here, which is the brand new NASDAQ 100 income ETF from NEOS. See, current share price is $50.49. So price return since inception, QQQI is up 2.14%. If we want to add total return since they did pay one dividend so far, let's take a look at that and update the chart. And you can see QQQI so far, the past 35 days, it is up 3.36%. So that is some great performance so far. Now let's take a look at FEPI, our last holding in this portfolio and you can see price return alone it's up 7.44 percent over the max time it's up 10.42 percent but of course we like to add in those dividends that you would receive on a monthly basis that we saw that were around a dollar per share each and total return you're up 20.18 percent with FEPI. so i also want to go into the dividend tracker.com link in the description if you guys want to sign up for that and let's create a simulated portfolio for these etfs to see how much you would make on a monthly basis so let's add a holding here in this portfolio put in qqqi first this is the neos nasdaq 100 and let's say we want to start out with 25 shares of each because that's a relatively small amount of shares but just to get the ball rolling we're going to save that in add another and hit SPYI. We're gonna do 25 shares of each just to start, and then we can mess around with the numbers. We're gonna add FEPI for our last holding and add 25 shares of this as well. So they're all around about $50 per share. And let's take a look at this portfolio. So say you have $4,000 laying around and you wanna get invested. $3,800 in here and our distribution dividend yield is 17.56% for this portfolio. Annual income, you'd make an extra $500 just by holding these ETFs with 25 shares each, and you'd make around $42 to $50 per month with these ETFs, which is absolutely great to see. And of course, if you reinvest those dividends, you'd make more and more each and every month. So let's do a little, like have a little fun with this portfolio and see how much you would be making with 100 shares of each position. We're going to save this. This is FEPI. We did 100 shares shares there. QQQI, let's add another 75 shares. So we're at 100 and save this. And as well as let's go into SPYI, take a look at this and add another 75 shares into this position as well. So let's edit this, put it as 100. We're going to save this. And then as you could see, if you have $15,000, 100 shares of each ETF mentioned in this video, your dividend yield would stay the same. Your March income would be $168.30 and your annual income would be $2,000. And you guys could play around with this on your own and in your own portfolios. If you reinvest those dividends, $200, say that you could buy another four shares of each ETF every month. And then that will compound and you'll make more and more each and every month from these ETFs. So first we went over SPYI, which is the S&P 500. Then we went over QQQI, which is based on the NASDAQ 100. And then the innovation Rex Fang, which is highly volatile stocks, technology stocks, but also offer that high dividend yield with their option strategy. And then we took a look at the performances of these ETFs and how they've performed, and as well as a sample portfolio of around $15,000, making $2,000 in annual income. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys think this is a good portfolio for beginners, and if you invest in any of these ETFs. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.